Cormac Aston, nice wee goal you got there. I got a wee flick at the end there. It was uh, the game. We sort of ran away the game at that stage, so uh, it was just a bit of finesse there, and just to, just to finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your trademark? Uh, I haven't played her. I've been just been fucking about bits and pieces in Saigon, but uh, I do uh, just get a bit, a bit of hurling and every so often in the trainings we get really flexing here and there. <laughs> well, we put it down to your upbringing in Dunloy. Uh, yeah, I was uh, always encouraged to, in Dunloy just to play, just to have fun and just trying to uh, get as get as many scores as you possibly could in any any way possible. Well, you certainly <laughs> did that. I mean, you scored a lot of points in that game. It was a high standard. Um, yeah, we, we're, we're shocked to be honest. Uh, this is the first time we, the Saigon Gales have ever got a hurling team. I just brought, I put them together about eight weeks ago, and uh, we never we never expected to even beat uh, Singapore in the first round. Then Hong Kong, we beat them, and the next thing we were in the final against Thailand, and we end up winning handy enough. It was just a shock to all of us, so we're delighted, yeah. But how come? I mean, how come you have so many good hurlers together here? Uh, see, Saigon, with the, we have a lot of rotation in terms of people coming in and out, but myself, I've been there over two years, and there has been a few who have been there for quite a while, but uh, just a few, just an influx of some hurlers just came along, and it just, it just sort of took, it's a lot of organisation to do hurling because it's the gear and equipment, so uh, I just I just thought, I wanted to play some hurling, so I stepped up and just uh, thought I'd just get some organised in Saigon, yeah. How cool is it to be able to come from Dunloy to Saigon to Kuala Lumpur and be able to play your hurling in the way you want it in a surface like this and a venue like this and a competition like this? Uh, I do love it because it's um, in back home in Dunloy and, and and obviously the championship. It's uh, you live and breathe the championship and it's all all you can think about. And uh, I like I just like a bit of fun whenever I'm playing hurling. I like to have a smile on face when I'm playing. So uh, over here you get that, so you do, and you get obviously play always in the and sun summer hurling's a lot better than. Uh, Cold winter nights in January and, and Dunloy when you're training, so I uh, know I'm loving it out here.